without further ado, what are we reviewing today? Well, if you saw my TikTok, you would already know. But in case you didn't, we are reviewing this behemoth. We are reviewing the Sakaar Sonic the Hedgehog PC Gaming Combo Set. Now, this box is massive. Like, I was sitting down here on my bed while I was doing that TikTok trying to unbox the thing, and if you turn it sideways, it's literally the exact height that I am whenever I'm sitting down, which is pretty crazy. And you can see there's something trying to escape. Look, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. So, here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to, uh, we're going to look at the box first, of course. Look at all the art, because it's really nice artwork on this box that I really like. And then we'll take it out of its box. We'll take a look at each one piece by piece. And then we'll also compare it to some uh, other generic brand keyboard and mouse stuff that I have on me today from Logitech. The one I've been using since I got my PC. So I got this to upgrade my PC a little bit. And I want to see how it actually holds up. So let's of course start with this box. As you can see, it's a really, really nice box. You have the Sonic render here on the side, as well as the Sonic the Hedgehog logo. A nice big, nice big rectangle displaying the product inside. Level up your gaming. Light up the action with Sonic. You know, that that cheesy kind of branding that we always see on Sonic products like this. And it also gives us a nice little preview of what's within here. And it says, Gaming Combo Set includes a keyboard, a headset, and a gaming mouse. Uh, this released last year in 2022, and I wanted to get it last year. But because that was Sonic Movie 2 year, uh, I didn't have the funds. But now that the price went down to $30 from its uh, original $60, uh, we can actually review it. So yeah, the front of the box already looks great. And then you have the top here, which has a nice carry handle for whenever you want to take this on the go. You have, of course, Sonic logo right there. Nice big white rectangle there. Sonic logo here. The products again, this time shown in rings, which reminds me of a lot of the Jack Specific stuff. And as you can see, the box is not in great condition, and I can promise you that's not the way it was shipped. It was because if you saw my TikTok, you'd know that this thing was a pain to get out of its packaging. So, yeah, this thing was a pain to get out. So it's all bent up and screwed because of me trying to rip the packaging off of it, and it kind of didn't work very well. But let's read the back, shall we? So, Pro Gaming Keyboard. LED backlit keys offer the responsiveness of a mechanical keyboard with the comfort of gaming keyboard. Multimedia button provides easy control of music volume and more simplifying the user experience. Durable keycaps and switches provide millions of clicks and consistent performance for any kind of game. Move over to the headset. Connect to your phone or computer to talk to friends. That's probably the way I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this for both my PC and just my headphones in general. Because I'm such a sign nerd. Play with friends online or in person. Cushioned ear cups provide all day comfort. Built in mic delivers quality voice clarity. Uh, videos I've seen online say otherwise, but we'll find out for sure. Boom mic keeps you communicating in any scenario and learn from home with crystal clear stereo sound. And then the gaming mouse. Futuristically comfortable, ergonomic design, minimize hand fatigue during long gaming sessions, keeping you playing longer, RGB backlight for extreme gaming experience at nighttime play. Advanced optical sensor with two levels of adjustable DPI delivers hyper-accurate training accuracy to a variety of games and situations. Now, most of that's probably marketing speak, but I honestly don't mind it, because Sonic always does this kind of stuff with his products, so... Not really much anything new. And then the bottom just has your, you know, your legal stuff and the Sakara logo. As well as the uh, link to their website if you want to check out this product for yourself. But I can also tell you that this is available on Walmart.com and Amazon. So if you watch this review and you like this product and you want to go ahead and get it, well, feel free. Just uh, make sure to have some scissors around because you're not going to be able to just rip open the packaging. It does, does not work very well. So I think uh, that's enough about the box. And as you can see, we're also on my bed today to have a nice Sonic backdrop with this awesome Sonic blanket I found from Target. So, yep, that's enough me rambling. Uh, let's not waste any more time. Open the box and uh, see how this stuff holds up, shall we?
And you know the old saying, gotta go fast! Okay, I just wanted to add this quick little part in here to let you know how to open this thing. That way you guys don't like absolutely destroy your box or anything like that. All you gotta do to open it is cut off the tape right here and pull out this little tab. And then it'll just immediately open up for you. Nice and big. And I guess since I'm already filming, we'll also take a look at this little piece of paper that keeps trying to escape the box. So... Here you have your little sheet that tells you a bit more. Yeah, it's the user it's the user manual for how to operate this thing. So yeah, this uh will try to slide out of the box, just be aware of that. But it won't like slide out, slide out, but it'll try to slide out because it kept sliding out through this little uh, indent right here while I was trying to open the package earlier move it around so yep there's your user manual i'm not really going to get too much into this because i want to focus on the product itself but if needed i will refer to this every now and then to tell you guys about how to operate this thing so okay uh let's take out all the separate pieces and take off the plastic and we'll see how everything holds up shall we Alright, so I think how we're going to do this is that I'm going to go from the smallest product in the box to the biggest product in the box. So we'll go mouse, headphones, keyboard. Sound good? Alright, let's start with the mouse. First, before I actually show the Sonic mouse, I do want to show you guys what a normal mouse looks like. So you guys can get a little bit of a frame of reference. So, here is the most generic normal mouse that you can get. This is made by Logitech. Oh, well, it's made by Dell, but I'm pretty sure you can get this in a pack with Logitech keyboards. And it's a pretty basic mouse, flat black, you know, clicks, fits in your hand, move it around a little. Yeah, it's pretty easy to use. But uh, after a while, it can get a little tiring because since there's no, like, indents or anything, it doesn't, like, mesh into your hand. So after a while, moving this around with that plastic, it's going to gonna get pretty old but this is corded and if you're wondering how it actually cords in it's actually pretty easy it's just a pretty simple little usb cable right here the same one you see on like cords for chargers and stuff like that which means if you really want to you can plug this into like a charger inside like plugged into the wall or a power strip and you can just use it like that, or you can plug it into a laptop, use it like that, or plug it into your PC and use it like that. So, yeah, the it's the cheapest and easiest way to get a mouse, but it definitely is not the best of quality. Like, it's, it's bare minimum. That's what this is. It's bare minimum. So, now let's take a look at the Sonic mouse. And I'm going to tell you right now, this right here is the main reason I even wanted to buy this set in the first place, because... Look at this thing. Is that not one of the coolest freaking mouses you've ever seen in your life? Like, look at it. It's angled to fit in your hand. Has a beautiful design. Nice blue colors. Nice Sonic logo right there. Like, this thing is so cool. I really love this mouse. And I took it out. I took it out and I messed around with it for a little and yeah this feels amazing in the hand like compared to this which feels very bulky and like my fan like my hand that fan hand barely fits around it this one my hand fits perfectly in the little indents in the sides the clickers work fantastically and i can easily reach this and this a lot faster than i can with this so yeah this is really cool but let's talk about a little bit about this design as you can see, you have rings all the way up from the top to the bottom. I really like the design. You got the arrows. You have some nice stars. You have some. You have a really nice little texture to the wheel to, you know, keep your hand from sliding off of it. I believe that this is the button to turn it on and off with the, you know, the lights. So yeah, this thing does light up. We'll get to that in a minute. And then of course you have a nice really really nice 
little indent of the Sonic logo. And it has this really nice, like, angular design to it. And it fits great in your hand. Yes, you won't be able to really see much of it while it's in your hand because it's going to cover most of it. But if you only put it like, like this, then you can see that Sonic logo while you're moving it around. And it's just satisfaction. This thing is so cool and easily lived up to everything I wanted from it. Such a cool little mouse. Now, I would show off the glow feature, but I feel like we should wait until we review all three of these by themselves and then save the glow for last. So, with that said, here's another quick little side-by-side -side with a normal mouse. So, yeah, the mouse is fantastic. Now let's check out the headphones. Alright, I unfortunately don't have another pair of headphones to really compare these with. Because the only ones I had was my one... My one audio Bluetooth headphones, and they kind of broke. So, yeah, they broke on my way home from the camping trip. So, unfortunately, I don't really have anything to compare these to. But, let's take a look at the actual headphones. And, I'm going to say right now, these are just okay. Like, I love the colors that they picked for these with the bright blue and the red. I love that. But, the plastic feels very cheap and very, very thin. Um, the inside cushions feel really good from what I'm able to tell from just my hand. I'll try them on, I'll put them on my head in a moment. But, yeah, it feels pretty good, but the blue plastic itself is, like, really rigid and straight. And that, that is barely going to even qualify as a microphone. It's just a stick that just happens to have some kind of audio stuff inside of it. So, yeah, that part's a bummer. But the thing is about these you're not really buying buying this for the quality if you buy just the headphones which you can there is a, a sale on amazon where you can buy just these for 15 dollars. not to mention you can also get them in another gaming set that comes with a little chair but that's a kid size chair so unless you're buying it for your kids uh, don't bother <laughs> you're not gonna fit in it but let's uh, take a look at the actual headphones themselves because aside from the cheap quality i don't mind these at all i really like the Again, I love the color scheme. The blue and the red perfectly matches. You got a nice Sonic logo right there and a nice stark white. And then moving over here and moving the crappy mic out of the way. You have a really nice, almost reflective kind of Sonic the Hedgehog branding on the side with some arrows. Looks really cool. So, yeah, they feel cheap, but they actually look quite nice interesting i really like the colors i just wish it wasn't so cheap then again these are 15 dollar headphones that were made more for the branding and for kids rather than actual you know grown adults so with that done i'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna see how these fit on my head i will try it without my hat and with my hat so let's see how these fit all right Flipping the camera around, uh, I apologize for my very messy hair. I, I really need a haircut. <laughs> but um, we're going to see how these fit with my hat and without my hat. Now they look a bit small, but I'm pretty sure I can find a way to get it to work on my head. Because um, I remember a while back I had these like dark gray and cyan blue headphones that were originally made for kids. And it fit on my head pretty well. So... My head's big, but from here to here, it actually works pretty well with kid-sized headphones. So, this is a test mainly for adults that are curious about this. So, yeah, let me make sure I'm playing. Okay, yeah, right, why is this way? Okay. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so they fit pretty good. It does feel like they fit over my ear and whatever's left of my hearing hole over here pretty well. And then I flip this down, and the mic will be right here, but it's a little bit far away from my mouth, so I'm not sure if it, how it'll actually work. I'll try it out in an actual live stream at some point, but yeah. Uh, without the hat, uh, they do fit pretty well. They're not very flexible, though, because these are super cheap, but... Uh, yeah, they do cancel out noise, and I'm not entirely sure of their actual audio quality. This is just a normal audio jack headphones, by the way. It's not one of those fancy things, so, yeah. 
but you're not really buying these for the headset, so honestly, that they're okay. Uh, uh oh, doesn't look like they can extend out much further. But um, we'll try it. We're gonna try it with the hat. But if I feel like they're about to break, I'm gonna stop because I really don't want to break these because these are the only like gaming like headphones I've got. So let's try these on with the hat and see if it'll fit. Okay, it's a little bit uneven. It doesn't completely cover this side of my head, but they uh, they do fit pretty well. And the mic isn't any further away from my mouth than it is without the hat. So, yeah, with hat or without hat, if whether you're a kid or an adult, this will actually fit you, and it will fit pretty well. It won't be the most comfortable thing in the world, but it'll stay, and that's what's important. And uh, later, I'm gonna, I'll play a Fable song in these, obviously off camera so I don't get copyright claimed. And I'll tell you about the audio quality. But that's it for the headphones for now. I'm just looking at the surface level stuff, and then we'll talk about the actual performance later. So without further ado, let's move on to the big reason why anyone would want to buy this. This keyboard itself. Let's check it out. Alrighty. Flipping the camera back around, now it's time to look at the main reason anyone would want to buy this outside of the really cool mouse, and that would be the keyboard itself. And I have to say, this is actually a pretty nice keyboard, like by budget standards, of course, not by like super high-end stuff standards. That's not what this is meant to be compared to, but I do love the blue that they went with for all the keys. Having the back be translucent was a pretty cool idea. And it does have those little things back here if you want to like have it up at an angle, which is also just fantastic. And as for the keys themselves, let's see how they feel. Keys feel really good, actually. They're not get, they're not sticking, they're not getting stuck. Everything seems like it's working. Now the keys are pretty small, so I'm, my fingers may or may not slide in between them, but that's because I just have big fingers on a really small hand. So it might just be my particular issue. Um, as for the keycaps, I don't think you can switch them out according to other videos I've seen online. Videos. <laughs> Vids I've seen online. But Honestly, I don't really need to. I also love that they made, like, the most important buttons in the red while the rest is in blue. Like, you have your WASD up here for movement. You have your escape bar, your enter, your space bar down here, which also has a nice little graphic for rings, which is really cool. Now, the keys aren't themselves aren't going to light up. It's just going to be the back of this thing. The translucent back is what's going to be lighting up with the LEDs. But... I still think that this works really well. For a starter's keyboard, for only about 30 bucks, this is really nice. Like, I'm really actually impressed with this. Now, keep in mind, I'm judging it by budget standards, not by super high-end standards. For anyone else, this is probably more like a starter keyboard, but for me, this is probably going to be my main keyboard for a while, because I'm a huge Sonic fan. I've been trying to make, like, a huge Sonic-themed PC setup for a while now, and this is the pivotal piece to getting that. I just need to get a mouse pad and uh, a rug for my chair so I can roll it around at night without making noise. So, but yeah, the keyboard's actually pretty cool. I quite like it. Uh, it is going to take a little getting used to because I'm so accustomed to another keyboard. And, uh, oh, and speaking of another keyboard, uh, I'm going to move this back a little bit. So, now we're going to compare the keyboard with the, you know, the most basic keyboard you can possibly get. And for that, it would be this big boy right here. This basic, cheap Logitech keyboard. Now, the keyboard itself isn't bad quality. It's just, you know, very generic. It's not branded. It doesn't have colors. It doesn't light up. It just does what it needs to do. Now, no, it didn't come like this broken. Uh, one time when I was uh, moving some stuff around, I had this sitting on top of my PC, and it fell, and one of the little things busted off. But... The keyboard still works fine. 
every now and then my hands may or may not get a little bit stuck in between the keys, but that's not a huge deal. And some of the keys are a little bit loose. I've had this keyboard for a while. So, yeah, there's the Logitech keyboard. Now, comparing it with the actual Sonic keyboard, as you can see, it is a little bit smaller because it doesn't have these giant things on the end. It's just flat rectangle from here to here. Um, Width-wise, I think it's about the same. Uh, nope, it's actually... Okay, so this one's actually a bit smaller than those standard keyboards. And it's a lot thinner, too, of course, because this one you have, like, this big, heaping bunch of plastic. And then here, you have, like, this really thin... Really thin... Really easy to move around, uh, you know, width. The width is not nearly as big and chunky. So, yeah, that's a key. That's its comparison to a normal keyboard. It's going to be a little bit smaller, but not by, like, a million times. Not, like, the most revolutionary thing in the world. I know high ground, uh, the high ground keyboards are smaller than even that. And it's, I think, about half the size of that. But the keys are smaller. And some of them with the designs, they print the key letters on the side of the key. Which, if you have it like this, is going to make it an absolute nightmare to try and figure out what key is what. So, yeah. Also, those uh, high ground keyboards are over $100. I am not spending <laughs> over $100 just for a keyboard. That That is ridiculous. So, yeah, that's the comparison, and now with that out of the way, and then we'll uh, take a look at the lights. The part I'm pretty sure everyone also wants to know about when it comes to this product. So we'll do the lights, and then I will uh, do a quick little test of the headphone quality, sound-wise, uh, playing a Fable song off camera, and I will tell you the actual audio quality. So... Let's see how this goes. Alright, so for the light test, what we're going to do is that I have an extension cord right here. And we're going to plug that into this block right here that I usually have my phone charger on. But obviously I'm not doing that because I'm recording. And we're going to check out the glow. Uh, it may or may not show up a bit crappily because it's still kind of in the middle of the day. So, um, I may or may not wait to post this till later and actually get a good picture of the lights at nighttime, but also as well showing how it's all set up on my PC. So let's check this out. So I think all I have to do is just plug this in here. Uh, yep, there it goes. All right, and there's the lights. It's definitely very simple, but I really like them. It's going to like cycle through all the colors and like a fade out or something like that. And I think if you hit this key. Hold on. So you can't really get to like stay on one color. But if you're like playing at night and moving this thing around. I'm pretty sure it'll look really cool. So. Yeah, that's the lights for the for the mouse. Pretty cool. So we'll unplug this. Uh, okay, I thought for a second there might have been Sonic branding on the actual thing, but no, it's just a it's just a bit bulky and has a grip on it. Weird. So there is the LEDs for the mouse. Now let's check out the LEDs for the keyboard. Or attempt to, anyway. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. I have it backwards. Three, two, one. Uh, hmm. So it's trying to light up, but I'm not sure if it's working. 
yeah, like, like you guys can, hold on, let me, let me move this back a bit. You guys can see it blinking, right? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, like, you guys see it, it tried to light up. But I'm not sure. Maybe I have to click one of the keys? Hmm. Okay, um, I know the lights work. I'm 100% sure the lights work. The cord's not damaged or nothing. I think it's just not very kind to the way I'm trying to show this. Huh. Bit of a bummer. But, um... Hmm. Okay, so the lights do work. They clearly do. You guys saw that. But I think it's just not a fan of what how I'm trying to actually show the lights. Because as you can see, it keeps blinking, but as soon as it's like all the way in, it doesn't like, doesn't like light up, light up. Hmm. Um, let me take a look at the instruction manual real quick and see if I can figure this out. If not, then I'll just uh, go to final verdict. Or, I don't know, show how it looks in my actual PC setup. Okay. So according to this, the way to turn the lights on and off is through the scroll lock button. So I'm going to keep this plugged in. I'm going to hit the lock button and we're going to see if it'll fix the problem. Ready? Hmm. Okay. Um, I think the way that this is designed, it's designed to actually be plugged into the PC, and if you try to do it with the charger or anything like that, it doesn't really work. Weird, the mouse worked like that. Okay, that's a that's a point or two off the final verdict for that, but you know what? That's still that's still not bad. Okay. Um, since I already have this rolling anyway, uh, let's put up the little arm things these things and let's see how it looks angled I'm pretty sure it will actually look a little different angled when you actually have it sitting on a hard surface right now I have it sitting on the bed so yeah a uh, bit of a bummer I can't really show the lights much but I think it's just because this is not really meant to work the way I thought I could try to make it work but you know what? It was okay. It was worth a try. And I know the, I know for sure that the lights work. I am 100% positive on that. I think that this just doesn't have the power output to actually sustain the LEDs in here. So, yeah. You know what? It's okay. We tried. I'm not going to be salty about that. So, yeah. Uh, that's the keyboard. Uh, sorry, I can't really show the lights very well right now. But, uh... If I can find some way to get it in a lower lit area, maybe I can get like a picture or something to actually show the how the lights themselves and how they work in this thing. So, yeah, that's pretty. Oh wait, hold on, I just noticed something. Look right there. There is a little bit of a paint splotch on the, this key. Now, it's not a huge deal breaker or anything. In fact, well, okay, these have that too. But you know what? It's not that big of a deal breaker. I'm used to paint not being the best on cheap products like this. So I'm not going to be, I'm not really going to be mad about that. So now if you guys are wondering how it looks in my actual PC setup, well, I'll take you over to the desk. We'll plug these in and I'll show you them working, I guess. And we'll go from there. I'll I'll test it and we'll see. Oh wait, I gotta do a yeah. Hold on, uh, I'm gonna test these first real quick. So uh, stay tuned. Next is the audio test. Okay, so I just tested it. Um, I listened to "Die for You" by Fable and Mix Williams and Dizzy Eight. Yeah, it's a mouthful. As the test for these headphones, um. The quality for them, audio-wise, at least with the phone, is not great. 
Maybe it's the way my phone's designed, I don't know, but uh, these were not very loud unless I, like, turned them up all the way. And even then, they weren't that loud. My earbuds were louder than that. But I kind of expected the audio quality to be a bit mixed because these are super cheap headphones. I mean, you can get them on your own for $15. Compared to other headphones, that's a, it's cheap. But you're really buying this just for the branding and the keyboard and mouse. This is just a little add-on, just like with the gaming chair. So, yeah. Uh, these headphones aren't great, but the audio quality is fine. And I'm sure it'll probably sound a lot better on actual PCs, because PC volume can go much higher than a phone volume. Another thing I should point out about these that I forgot to point out while looking at the manual was that in order for this to work... It comes like this, okay? And you think that's that's perfect size to fit inside your phone. Um, not really. It doesn't fit in all the way. Like, it fits in most of the way, but it stops, like, about on that third rung right there. My, my camera doesn't want to freaking focus, but... Yeah. About here, where my, where my finger is, that third one, that's as far in as it'll go. So what it actually wants you to do is attach this little connector that it came with. And then you just plug that into here. And then you plug these two into your audio jack and your uh, mic output for your on your actual PC. And you'll be able to speak in here. So, yeah. Uh, definitely recommend using these more for computer rather than just as headphones if you want to get actual headphones that are sonic related they have the character head uh headphones that are about 12 bucks so yeah uh only get this if you're really using these headphones as uh pc stuff because as phone listeners they're not great then again my hearing isn't great either so maybe it's just me so yeah i'd give the headphones probably around a solid five out of ten i love the branding i love the colors but it's actual quality is hit or miss. So, okay, I'm done rambling. Let's uh, not waste any more time and see how it actually all performs together on a PC. Let's check it out. All right, so apparently it's actually getting a lot darker over here towards my desk than I thought because the lights are actually working a lot better. As you can see, if I pick up the mouse here, you can definitely get a much better look at the lights. It looks fantastic. Now what I have with the setup here is I have my PC sitting here and then I have the mouse here on top of a pad. I'm not gonna show what the pad is because it's a uh, hand-me-down for my brother and it's a little bit inappropriate. So I'm only using it because I don't have a Sonic themed one yet. I want to get like a big desk mat but I feel like that's not gonna really happen. And my theory actually turned out to be right. This keyboard does not like to light up if you try it the way that I tried to do it with the charger. But when you plug it into your PC and hit your scroll lock button, look at that. It lights up and it looks great. At least in my opinion, it looks great. Let me try and show you guys the whole board. That looks so cool, especially the way that it actually lights up the Sonic logo. That is so sick. Now, it looks like the keys themselves are made out of like a translucent plastic, so some of them will have a little bit of the effect of the glow, but not all of them. But you know what? That is okay by me. So, for this next test, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull up just a random Google Doc, and I'm going to just type out something for a little bit. So, let's close this. Oh yeah, hold on, I gotta show this off real quick. I see that. Now, why don't you... There it goes. Yeah, it's a little hard to see, but I have, like, this special audio-sensitive wallpaper for Turtles. Because, you know, it was Calabonia Calvacade. I was going through a whole Turtles marathon. I have a bunch of Sonic ones on here, too. So, I think for this video, specifically, because we are talking Sonic, I will put on a Sonic-themed one. And I have, I have a good bit. Like... Seriously, this uh, 
wallpaper engine I got off Steam has like so many wallpapers and so much cool stuff. Like, it is sick. It is so freaking sick. Uh, apparently, it's not showing all of them. That's a bit weird. But okay, let me find the Sonic one I do have. Ah, this one. This one right here. There. You can't really see it very well, but Sonic's here, sitting here in the corner. Okay, so. What we're going to do for this test, like I said, we're just going to go to my Chrome. We're just going to pull up a random dock after I finish reloading all my pages. Since my computer decided to crash. Well, it didn't crash. We had a power surge and it knocked it out. So... It's a whole scattered mess I'd rather not get into right now. Uh, what time I have to search it? Okay. Docs. Uh, we'll exit out of this. Oh, wait, here we go. It was just taking a minute for the actual window to show up. So, yep, here's my docs. Have a whole bunch of them here. And for this test. We're just going to open a random one, and I'm going to type something out for a few minutes. Uh, let's type out... Let's type out some sonic phrases, and let's see how they actually turn out on the keyboard. So, first one we're going to type, we're going to type, gotta go fast. So, hit my shift key. Oops. Okay, and as you can see, it typed it pretty well. Not really having much issue there, which is great. So, yes, it, it typed exactly what I wanted to type, and the only reason it had a small little error there is because I hit the wrong key. So, that one was from user error, not from the keyboard itself, which is a really good sign, because from what I've been hearing from other reviews online, these keys like to stick. But for some reason with mine, I'm not having a single problem. Like, this is working great. Okay, uh, hold on, let me look up some Sonic quotes real quick that we can type for this test. Oop. I keep forgetting that T is here and Y is here. That's my fault. Ah, this one. Let's do, do I need a reason to want to help out a friend? Okay. Do I need a reason to, oops, want to help out a friend? And there you go. It worked. It's working perfectly. The keys aren't sticking or nothing. Then again, it might be because I have it elevated with the little feet on the bottom top things. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But also, if you want to know how to turn the lights back off when you're done with it, all you have to do is hit your scroll lock button. And it'll turn them off. I'm pretty sure there was a way to, like, make them pulsate or something like that. But I can't really remember off the top of my head how to do that. So... Yeah, uh, the keyboard seems to be working excellently. The, uh, the keys aren't sticking, and the only errors that are coming are just from me hitting the wrong keys. Which is user error, not manufacturer error. I also really like another thing I want to point out about this keyboard, is that the most important keys are not translucent. These ones are a flat red, like making it a little easier to see through the light show, because you can easily see, like, this is spacebar, this is the, w the ASD, here's your escape bar. And then all the way over here is your enter. And then your arrows are here. Like, that's a really nice little detail. They did not have to go that far. They could have just made it all translucent and leave it at that. But apparently they went the extra mile. And now it's just really nice. Like, all the keys work amazingly. And they're surprisingly quiet, too. Like, listen to me hitting backspace. Like, you can barely even hear it. It's amazing. And when you push it down, it like gives you a little light flash, as you can see the light in between the keys right here. Yeah, listen to how quiet that is. Isn't that amazing? 
That's crazy. I was not expecting the keyboard to be that quiet. But yeah, also apologies. I know I'm not wearing a Sonic shirt for this review, but they're all in the wash. So you're just going to have to deal with my SpongeBob shirt. So yeah, this is really great. I actually love this. Everything feels great. The keys are really quiet. The lights are excellent. I really like how they look. And at night, everything is glowing. And despite the glow, I can still see all the key letters perfectly. Like, despite the glow, I can still figure out what key is which. It's not glowing so brightly that it blends in with the actual white of the letters and I can't see what I'm doing. Like, that is a little nice attention to detail. But again, they didn't have to do that. But they went that extra mile, and it feels fantastic. Let me feel that. Oh, yes, that feels great, too. The wheeler feels great. Well, sorry, the scrolling wheel. I forget it actually has a name. Clickers work great. I'm able to click them pretty quick. Move the mouse around. Great. It glides across this mouse pad. Like, it glides. Like, the other one with the normal Logitech one, I could feel it as it moved on this thing. But with this one, it just, like, it glides over it. Like, look at that. That's with li as little input as possible, and it would go from here to here with just the smallest slight of movement. That is amazing, dude. Like, this, for only 30 bucks, this is actually really good. And as a huge Sonic fan, now I have a cool little Sonic-themed setup with some nice lights and really good functionality. Not to mention, since this keyboard's smaller than the other one, it gives me a little bit more space to put things around. Like, uh, let's say, for example, I want to put uh, a coffee cup somewhere. If I'm drinking coffee in the morning, uh, grab my coffee cup, and I can set it right there. The keyboard's here, this is here, and I can still move the mouse anywhere I want without this getting in the way. The only thing that this is in the way of is me seeing the date down there. But that's okay. There's also a ton of room on this side, too. So, that's fantastic. This is one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get this keyboard, aside from the cool lights and the fact that it was Sonic. It's so slim and uh, width and profile that you can have so much more room to put stuff on your desk while you're doing things. Like, I could put a plate of pizza right here. Just slide the keyboard all the way over here, and I have a really nice spot right here where the tripod obviously wouldn't be in this uh, scenario. I'd put a big plate of pizza right here, and I'd still have enough room to move around my mouse perfectly and type. I couldn't do that with the other keyboard. Since the other keyboard was so big and bulky, I barely had any space over here to put anything. And even if I moved it over a bit, I couldn't really get to my mouse at all. So, yeah, this is... This is incredible, dude. I am extremely impressed. This is a huge upgrade from the Logitech one I had. This is fantastic. Like, my goodness. I was not expecting to love this as much as I do, aside from the fact that it's Sonic. And you guys know, we love Sonic the Hedgehog here on this channel. He's literally the reason this channel even exists. So, yeah, this is really cool, really smooth. Feels great, and the keys... Are so quiet. Like, you don't hear a loud clack when you're typing on the keys. It's so quiet. It's so minuscule. Like, yes, it's technically a little minor thing, but in this case, that it, that's great. Like, this is great. I'm really impressed with this $30 thing. Okay, so I have overlooked the manual again. And it turns out that there is not a way for you to change how these lights are on this thing. Like, I understand. This is $30. It's meant to be budgetary and cut some corners. But that part does bum me out a little bit. Just a little bit, though. I'm still very impressed with this keyboard. And especially, again, it's only $30. Like, that's really good value for this. Well... It's safe to say that this was a surprisingly pretty good product. Now, yes, the headphones are the big detractor with these. They're cheap, they barely work, and even on a PC with the volume all the way up, they're quite quiet. And I feel like that was done intentionally to maybe protect kids' ears from, you know, blowing out the eardrums from listening to it too loud. 
But as someone who likes to have their stuff up really loud while they're, you know, listening to music or videos or stuff like that, these are a bit of a bummer. But I will give them this. The cord is pretty long, and the connector works surprisingly well. As for the actual microphone quality, from what I've heard, it's crap, and I'm inclined to believe it. Like, for example, let, for example, let, let's just pull up my Streamlabs, and I will do a quick mic test. Yeah, no, sorry, this is a very long video. I don't know what your chaps. You want to pull it up? Hello. Hmm. Ah, I think everything's good. Okay, you know what? I'll just test the mic quality whenever I live stream. So, yeah, the headphones are the big detractor of the set. They're not very good quality, and they'll be okay for kids, but. In terms of like actual adults that love to have their music up loud, uh, it's not going to do it for them. But the branding is cool. You're buying it for the branding. But as for the keyboard and mouse, though, I am surprisingly super impressed with them. Yes, they are a bit cheap quality in terms of the actual plastic use. And it is a bit of a shame that you can't like change the light settings on the actual keyboard. But the mouse, especially, is great. Like, it feels great in the hand, it glides across the mouse pad with the littlest bit of effort. Like, you don't have to try and put it all the way to the each end of the mouse pad. Like, it moves really quick, which is great, and the lights are fantastic. And the keyboard is really good, too. Yes, like I said, it's a big shame that it doesn't have, like, a setting you can use to, like, make the lights pulsate or anything like that. But... As it is, the lights are still great. I love that they made the blue keys translucent, and I love that they also made all the most important keys a nice flat red color to stand out from the glow so you can actually find them, which is a really nice bit that they didn't need to do. The keys don't stick, it types really well, and it types very quietly too. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with this product. Like I said, the headphones are the big crapshoot that don't quite work. But, um... As for the rest of it, it's really good. I'm actually quite surprised. For $30, you can definitely do a lot worse. And as a kid's first PC set, it's really good. And for someone that's a huge fan of Sonic, I think you'll also be quite satisfied with it. Because now you have a really cool Sonic-themed little setup with your keyboard and your mouse to really show off your fandom. And it looks really great, especially if you have it next to, like, collections and stuff like that. Like, I have whole Sonic collection right here on the top of my dresser and on the side of my dresser as well as one side of this entire desk as well as a whole collection back there that you guys have seen in other videos so yeah with the collections and stuff it looks fantastic the lights are really good quality they don't feel cheap and it looks like it's actually gonna last a pretty decent while so yeah it's not the most amazing keyboard in the world but for $30, that's really good quality. For $30, $35, you can do much worse than this. So, overall, I do recommend this product, and I do think that you guys should definitely check it out. If you're a Sonic fan, or if you're a kid that's trying to find their, a cheap way to get into PC gaming. You know, outside of the parents that give you the actual PC in the first place. But, this is really good, it's cheap, it's affordable, and it's pretty good quality. The crappy headphones are the only thing that's holding this back. If they took that out and slashed the price to like $20, $25, this would be a bargain that I'm sure every Sonic fan would love to have. So, in my opinion, I think the final verdict for the gaming combo set as a whole is a strong, solid 7 out of 10. This is a pretty good set for a pretty good price, and like I said, if you don't like the Sonic, you don't have to get the Sonic. There's a Nerf one, there's generic black and white ones. They have a bunch of these different ones. So, If you don't want this one, you have other options. But as a Sonic fan, I'm impressed and more than happy. And while the headphones are still a huge letdown, the keyboard and the mouse more than make up for it. And they're the majority of the reason why I even bought this thing and thing. So, yeah, $30, $35, 30 dollars 35 bucks, 30 35 great value for a really cool piece of Sonic merch that also has some actual usage to it. This is definitely going to be my setup for now on. 
and I'm excited to keep sonicking out more of my setup with like a mouse pad and a desk mat and all kinds of stuff. Who knows? So, yeah, awesome little purchase, awesome little product. If you have kids, this is definitely a really easy buy, especially if they are a Sonic fan and just getting into PC gaming. And like I said, if they're not into the Sonic branding, they don't have to get the Sonic branding. There's a Nerf branding. I'm pretty sure there's a FaZe Clan, uh, FaZe Clan branding as well. Like, there's a bunch of different options. So, if you don't want the Sonic one, you have your options. But for Sonic fans, I definitely think that this is something you should pick up. Whether you're a completionist trying to collect every piece of Sonic merch in history, I'm looking at you, Treasure Hunting Sonic, on Instagram. Or if you're just a huge Sonic fan that wants a cheap and easy way to show off your Sonic fandom while you're gaming, yeah, this is a really great purchase. So, definitely highly recommend you give this a buy. Just uh, throw away the crap headphones and get something else because the headphones are crap. But outside of that, it's a really good set. It's a good starter for kids, and I'm pretty sure Sonic fans will be more than happy with their purchase. Especially, like I said, now that the price has been sliced down to 30 35 instead of 60 Instead of like 55 60 So, yeah. Great purchase. Great, well, a good product for a great price. And a pretty good purchase that I'm pretty sure every Sonic fan will be very happy with. So, yep, that's my review of the Sakaar Sonic the Hedgehog gaming combo set. And apparently the only one on YouTube, because the only other videos I've been able to find on this thing are either comparisons with the high ground keyboards or just short little TikToks. I don't even really go into the actual effectiveness of the product. So, yep. This is the, uh, as of right now, definitive review of this on YouTube. And... I hope that I helped all of you guys out with your gaming uh, decisions. I had a great time reviewing this product. Uh, it was a pain in the rear to <laughs> unbox it, but it was more than worth it. Now I have a really cool setup I can use pretty much every day while I'm doing things. And also just having all that extra space while I'm working on videos and other stuff is such a nice thing to have. So... Yeah, I'm impressed with this product for 30 35 bucks. I definitely recommend it. But again, like I said, make sure you have another pair of headphones because these things are crap. So, yep. That's going to do it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later today when we finally get to the uh, character rankings of the turtles themselves. Starting off with Leonardo. Thanks for watching, have a super sonic day, and I'll see you next time as we continue the Calabunga Cavalcade. Well, I'll say that five times fast. Anyway, I'm Jack Small, thanks for watching, like, share, and sub to Animation Station if you want more content like this, and I'll see you next time. Peace.